Yeah, I'm getting ready now because I'm excited because I can see the light people. I have actually reached what I call practical completion. So I have one more time to put my hand in this tank. I, unless something draw me back in there, I should never have to put my hand in this tank again. I should never have to siphon this tank again. This tank is a ultra low, low, low maintenance marine tank. And you're going to say, you hear me talk about it being fish and live rock only because I'm graduating, the, the, the idea is graduating and all the things I want to do with the tank, I'm just taking a different path. So the gear I have, as you can see, can do any fucking thing I want. So the, 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 the hospital is going to be installed now, but what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be installing the upgraded air system. So that's my backup pump. Y'all saw that moving around when I was doing the bucket and transfer. It's been running the tank now. Everything looks good. I'm going to, I did the water change yesterday. I don't do it up today's yet because I'm going to install the air system now. So what am I using for air? Y'all thought that was it right with the blue thing dropping there? No, that was just again simulating. In an emergency, what you do? Put your, get your backup ear pump, drop in your ear stones. As you have time to think now, like I've had some time burning some ganja, I am excited to tell you and show you what I'm doing next. So here's the ear system. So I have all the things that right here, I should put them right here so I can get to it. But the pump, and this is the connectivity. The pump that is driving, was gonna drive um, my, my tank is waste air. Waste air from this. This is the system that I'm using in my hydroponic grow cabinet over here. And it is so powerful that I have a lot of air bleeding out. So I'm just going to just connect it to one of the gang valves. So these are the gang valves here. You can see this. I'm only using two of these gang valves in the, in the hydroponic. I have seven spear. That's just bleeding out air. So this is how I connect the two systems. The tank and the hydroponic grow are now going to be connected directly other than through the apex system, but now through the air line. And so I already have my air, my brand new air tubing. I'm using the marina. This is going to be the, the connection from the, the cabinet right around the tank, because I'm going to run it neatly behind the furniture and come up so you don't see it. And then when it gets into the tank, I'm using the, the fluva. Because it's the black line, it disappears. So it's going to be easier for me to hide that in there. And, and yes, those air stones come out. Those are just some old air stones I had um, for emergency cases. But this is what I'm using now for air stones. The proper thing for your fish, for your marine tank, I'm using this. So this is a lime wood. I'm not just using one of them. <laughs> I'm using two. So the two of them are going to be connected um, with the T piece here. And I'm also going to run the line neatly. As you can see, I had the heater running horizontal. I'm going to put in one more of these on the heater. So I'm going to sort of weave, weave the cord up and down and around. So it stays at the bottom of the tank neatly, but I can easily access it and pull it out if I have to. So just very simple setup. That's where I'm at now. I'm going to be doing that. So I wanted to also talk to you guys about a few other things. So the plan for this tank now is evolving because I was talking about fish and live back only for a while, but, but now my mind opened up some more. I said, well, you know, it is also ideal for non-photosynthetic tank. I mean, non-photosynthetic corals that don't need that, that that don't literally feed off of 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 the the uv light but literally just the food that you put in a tank so when you go to a system like this one of my things that i think i would experiment with if i can get it maybe not in the first nine months i think in the first nine months what i'm going to show is another style but after the next nine months who knows but non-photosynthetic corals will work in a situation like this but i'm also going to turn back on my lights and no when i say turn back on my lights get it remember i have the kessel a360x on this tank so the phase that i'm going to be using is just repurposing the light so what's going to happen now i'm still keeping the, the tank just on natural light through the day and i'm putting no artificial light on the tank during the day 
but when the sun set and are going down i think maybe i'm going to use the sunset uh time is when or actually better yet the idea that came to me is that i'm going to just run this off of the lunar lights so it will come on around when the sun sets and so i'll have that very low low light blue in the tank at night and i can play around with the lights so that's the beauty that i'm going to be um playing around with the castle lights now and oh guess what i still have in the tank and i just saw him one of my mushrooms just started to pop out underneath underneath that piece of live rock i thought i lost it you know i like okay i hope you survive i hope you survive because i'm locking off the light and i want to see what you do but corals and all of these species are so they're so adaptable if you just give them time and consistency so i'm going to adjust the rock a little bit more because he's on this side which is away from the window i'm going to flip him so he's getting more of the natural sunlight and i see how he responds because he's already coming out and he's out of in the dark so i'll see how he goes and and that was the idea that triggered me saying you know i could do mushrooms in this tank because i can turn on the light for a very short period of time in the day and still control the algae and be able to enjoy those guys coming out and blooming i like the word blooming I mean, eh, opening up at night i'm coming back in like i'll do it for a maximum of four hours so if i put photosynthetic corals in here well one is already in here but he's going to adjust but if i put any photosynthetic corals, it's going to be the easy low power corals that i can manipulate the light to very short periods of time for the day and they still be okay so that's the plan that is coming with this um and so that would again i said happen at night time so i will not run the the kessel a360x when the tank is getting any form of direct light from um to my windows um the next thing is the tank is now for, for, uh, properly stripped down i've removed the atk because i don't need it anymore the automatic top-up system that's now also going to be a part of the emergency response if i am out of the picture i can easily plug back in these things and they work without me so the atk is gone that means i only think about all the the power draw equipment i'm taking off the tank and how efficient it's going to be working now as a matter of fact the only pump that's working on this right now is the wave so my energy is cut down to the dc wave and that brand new heater i promise you this is a way more efficient in energy consumption because i've taken off i've taken off the canister i have cut down how the Kessel A360X is running because it used to run all day. Now it's only going to run at night on its lowest settings, which is its lunar blue lights. So a lot of energy savings here by going to that. Uh, oh yes, so based on how this tank is built, I can switch back anytime. I can, if I wanted to, connect the filtration system as I was going to do but Gang just said don't skip this phase show people how they can literally keep a tank right here and I was going to just put back in the corals and run it because if I was going to stop the tank the way I'd originally tended to I would be running the filtration system but I like this and I feel like I might stay here for a good while of keeping the system here brand new as an emergency more so than as a necessity um so yeah, the ATK right now, as I say, is not necessary because I've actually covered the tank now. So I put back the glass top and I'm leaving 70% of the 70 of the tank is covered, 30% of the tank is, up, is exposed to open air. So that's where I'm sort of, I would recommend, that's where I'm testing. I can't say recommend it until I know it works. But what that does, it drastically reduces the evaporation. Because remember, I have the air stone in there now. And the air stone is breaking that surface tension a lot. I'm pushing up a lot of that water. So you get that splash on that air, at the, at, the, at the air interface. So by putting the glass cover back on it, it reduces um, the, the evaporation. But I get the benefit of that gas exchange. Yo, the fish that been swimming in and out of the bubbles like mad. They've been loving it. They are just they just that, especially the fox face, him swimming in and out and spinning around it. He's playing in the bubbles and it brings back. I use, this was a, actually a concept that my mentor taught me 
and I had it on the first time I set the tank up and I took it off because I was now moving to more different things. So anyway, that's, that's the air system. And there's one other thing I wanted to say. Right, oh, so what I should mention to you about air system is that because I'm now using the spare air for my hydroponic cabinet, the air that is entering in that tank is filtered through a carbon filter. So it's taking air, filtered air, and pushing in to the tank. So that's what I'm getting right here is at, the, at the surface exchange right here, is the air that comes out because the, the gas exchange happens at the surface. It's not the bubbles, you know. People think that's the bubbles that oxygenate in the water. No, it's the gas exchange right at the surface. So I am, I am pushing in this space in my canopy, the freshest filtered air in my house so that the quality of the air in my tank is going to be the best as it can be. The pump sits on the outside right here, it's taking in the air from around you. So when you have aerosols, when you're cooking, that drying into your tank. So now my tank is getting pre-filtered, carbon filtered air that's being pushed in there. So that's all I wanted to talk to you about now. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is finish up the installation of the new air system and then connect up the, uh, maybe I should call it the ambulance, the, 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 no, the hospital, let's keep the term hospital because that's what it really is, the emergency, the, the, the intensive care ward, that's what is going to be set up now which is the filtration system but it will not be connected. So thanks for following me. I'm really excited about where this thing is going and I can't wait to take this the the, the, the other thing the, the, the backup systems of the tank and just stand back and look. It's one week now that the canister fields have been disconnected and no filtration and look on the tank. I have high hopes and I really am going to be going through with this thing with nine months. Thanks for following the Rasta Reefer.